How would you say this number out loud? You should say 0.26. A lot of people think you can say 0.26, but this is definitely wrong. Just out of interest, when you're dealing with decimal numbers, you can put as many zeros on the end without affecting the value. This number here has two tenths and six hundredths. If I put a zero on the end, it's still got two tenths and six hundredths and nothing else. In fact, I can put on as many zeros as I like. And this number still only has two tenths and six hundredths. In the same way, you would say this number as 45.103. Here are some questions for you. Practice saying these numbers out loud. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. You should say 1.25 0 0.91, 0 3.007, 0 0.418 and 36.05. Which of these numbers is bigger? Press pause and write down your answer. When you're ready, press play. You should have got the answer. 5.12. Anyone who reads the numbers incorrectly might have thought that 5.103 is bigger than 5.12. This is why we've got to be really careful when we read the numbers. Let me show you how we really work out which one is bigger. The first thing I'm going to do is make the numbers both have the same number of digits, so I'm going to put a zero on the end here. If I look at the numbers now, I can see that they both have five units. They both have one tenth. This number here has no hundredths, but this number has two hundredths. So this one must be bigger than this one. This is why 5.12 is bigger than 5.103. Here's another one. Press pause and write down your answer. When you're ready, press play. The bigger number is 0 0.3. In the same way as before, I can make the numbers both the same length and then look at them carefully. There are no units in either of the numbers. But this number here has three tenths, and this one only has two tenths. So this one must be bigger. 0 0.3 is bigger than 0 0.29. Have a go at this tricky question now. You need to put the decimals in ascending order. This means that you need to start with the smallest one and finish with the largest one. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answer, press play. To answer this question, the first thing that I do is write the numbers out so that the decimal points are all lined up. I can now clearly see the units, the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. Now I can put some extra zeros in so that all of the numbers have the same amount of digits. I can now look at the numbers carefully. If I look at the units, I can see that this one here is three units. So this must be the biggest. I'm going to put it at the end of the list. I'm now left with four numbers and they've all got no units. So I'm going to look at the tenths. This one here has zero tenths. 
So this must be the smallest number and this comes first in the list. Looking at the three remaining numbers, I can see that this one has eight tenths and so does this one, but this one only has three tenths. So this is next. Looking at the last two, this one has eight tenths and so does this one. This one has three hundredths, but this one has no hundredths. So this is next. That means that this number must go here. These are my numbers in the correct order, from smallest to largest. Here's another one for you. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. Remember to begin by lining the decimal points up. Because this number here only has units, we can't see the decimal point, but I just line it up with the units column. Now I can put in the extra zeros. If I look at the numbers now, I can see that they all have 8 in the units column. This number here has no tenths, no hundredths and no thousandths, so this must be the smallest one. These two numbers both have no tenths, so one of these must come next. They both have five hundredths, but this one has no thousandths and this one has five thousandths, so this one is smaller. This one must be next. Looking at the two numbers that are left, I can see that they both have five tenths. This one has five hundredths and this one has no hundredths, so this one is next. I finish with this number here. My numbers are now in order. Here are some more for you to try. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. Here are the answers. 